When did you first notice that something wasn't right? Uh, just one afternoon at training, about very short of breath uh, during exercise. Uh, I've actually found out that they reckon that was that's indicative of uh, pericarditis and that the thyroid conditions has caused it. So, so I've had the thyroid problem for probably a lot longer. How long ago was that? Uh, it was probably about four or five months ago. So ever since then I've had breathing problems on exertion or during exercise. So I've tried to stay away from that. Probably last week I had to do a fitness exam and yes. I also failed that because I couldn't run. And then yes. that's when they got all the... They thought I had asthma at the start. So, I went from there. What else have you noticed? Uh, I've been extremely tired and probably irritable as well. I have to eat a lot during the day to uh, just maintain my own body weight. Could you give us an example of how much more you would have to eat in relation to your normal appetite? Uh, normally I just have three meals a day, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Uh, this one I had to have breakfast. I had probably six to eight meals a day. Um, maybe morning tea, afternoon tea, dinner and probably a snack before I went to bed as well. Have you noticed that you've been sweating a lot? Yes. What sorts of things have you noticed? Uh, yeah, there's just a sweating. Well, I'm not really hot at all. Uh, I've been a lot, shaking a lot more, especially while I'm trying to write. And, well, I've been told that my eyes are pretty wide. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Have yeah. you had any trouble sleeping? Uh, I guess, but I'm not sure if that's the same. I'll, I'll go up probably, because I was tired in the morning, of course, and then you'd be more alert during the day, and then yeah, you just couldn't get to sleep. She'll be awake. And did some of the sweating occur at night? Or were you just sweating all the time? Uh, I couldn't say at night, so I was mostly asleep, but at different times during the day. I sort of sweat for a little while, and then I'll be fine. Have you noticed much in the way of weight loss? Yes. How much have you lost? Over a, probably a four-week period, I lost about 12 kilograms. And that was without dieting? Uh, sort of. Was, my fiance was on holidays, and she's a vegetarian, so eating uh, two plates of raw vegetables a day. It helps you a lot. When did you first notice that you had a swelling in the neck? About a week ago. I noticed it when I was having a shave in the mirror. Is there anything else that you noticed? Well, I think my concentration was a little bit um, down than what it was. And probably my memory as well. One of the things that, that people don't emphasise enough and that um, people often forget to ask about is the concentration and memory aspects. What sorts of things did you notice in regard to that? Uh, I was forgetting a lot of things, just appointments or just information I've been told the day before. And also having to concentrate, say studying something or reading manuals, it was a lot harder to concentrate. So I only spend probably five or ten minutes where I could spend probably an hour beforehand. You mentioned irritability a minute ago. What did you, what sorts of examples can you give us of your irritability? Well, the biggest one was at work. I just, I just thought that I really hated work. Uh, I was tired, but we had there was a lot of work to do, so I, I was always getting sort of pestered by other people, and they didn't like it too. And did anyone comment on your um, change in behaviour, or was it just something you noticed? Uh, I noticed it, but they have commented on it. What sorts of things did they say to you? Uh, they seem a bit more aggressive, or a little bit um, sort of not with it. Mm -hmm. They like the concentration. But... Peter, would you mind swallowing, please? One more time. This is a diffuse goiter which has a slightly asymmetric appearance. When you apply a stethoscope to the goiter, there is a brewery and this is pathonomic of Graves' disease. Look down, look straight ahead, look to the right, look to the left, look straight ahead. Good, thank you. Now we'll just have a look at your hands. And this is the typical fine tremor of thyrotoxicosis. Swallow, sorry. And again. Okay, there's just a little bit of white above the eye and not really below the eye. So it's a bit of proptosis, but it's not really um, exophthalmos. This is an example of someone who has had Graves' disease. 
this is the picture following radioactive iodine after the second episode of Gray. Range of ocular movements remained relatively normal. There has been some improvement with treatment, but it hasn't returned to normal. Can you tell us how long you've felt unwell? Around about three to four weeks now. What did you notice? Uh, first thing was really tired. Uh, just uh, 15 minutes of work and I, you know, very tired afterwards. So had to sit down. Yeah. What sort of work? Uh, I've just been doing some work around the house, uh, some renovations on the house and that. And uh, even just walking up to the office, uh, which is only a block up the road, I was tired after that. Yeah. Had you noticed anything else? Uh, yep, the, I've got this uh, mild tremor that you can feel, you can't really see it that much, but you feel as though you're nervous all the time. What about um, weight loss? Weight loss, I've lost over a stone in three to four weeks. Have you noticed any discomfort in your muscles? Yeah, all, all my muscles, the leg muscles and arm muscles are very weak and uh, yeah, they've got that tired feeling all the time. Any particular muscle groups that you noticed? Yeah, the, uh, the leg, leg muscles and, and these arm muscles up here. Alright, so that was the ones closest to your body rather than the ones furthest away? Yeah, I guess, yeah. If you had your arms held out in front of you, could you stand out of that chair now? Or just, do you want to fold your arms and see if you can stand up? One more time. And do you find that as easy to do as usual or not? Oh, no. Okay. How long have you noticed things sticking in your throat? Uh, probably about six years. And what sorts of things have you noticed sticking? Uh, it's not actually sticking, it just seems to cut the uh, airways off. Um, and when you eat, it, uh, don't, you've got to swallow a couple of times. Do any particular kinds of foods trouble you more than others? Dry food. Have you noticed any positions causing discomfort? Uh, yes, if I let my head drop forward, it seems to shut the airway off or the throat. And uh, if I lay sideways on my side in bed and put, the, put my arm over, it seems to cut the, uh, the throat off and I start coughing. Have you had to change the number of pillows you use at night? Yes, I've I got two pillows high now. And what did you use before? Just a single. Do you feel anything different when you put your arms up? Oh, just a bit tight around the neck. Well, it's oh, going right all across here, across the nose and the cheeks. I can see myself in the chair. We'll just watch. Don't you think he's getting right all across the nose and the cheeks? What happens? What do you have to clear it? Get to around, <coughs> yeah. Now you can put your hands down. And we'll just see the colour drain out. Uh, yes, it would be. Yeah. What can you feel right now? Just a bit tight in the throat. All right. And, uh, you can hear it. Hmm? You can hear it in his throat, don't you? When you're talking. Uh, oh. That's it. Just, uh, so just be cutting off the, just the uh, airways and that to the end down the chest. Is it very marked or is it just... A minor annoyance at this stage? Minor annoyance, really. But it's there persistently? Yeah, oh, all the time. So this is what you've noticed every night, so that you've had to had to get another pillow? Oh, I've had the other pillow for well, a few years now. Do you want to sit up for a minute? No, uh, you're right. Okay, well, just sit up slightly, and we'll see what happens to your face. Oh, 
when it fell, it disappeared.